so hey, I'm DarpyPaws1250 and this is a combination lock. I'll show you how to build a combination lock in Minecraft. So like and subscribe for more redstone videos and stuff. And let's begin. Okay, so... Oh, wait. So the first step to building this is you build a lever configuration like this. It can be any size at all. You just have to put a block a block between um, lever layers like this. For example, if you wanted to do three layers, then you would put levers up there, but that's not very practical. So, um... You could use uh, stairs or other methods. Okay, okay, so, um, I want... Oh, where are the redstone torches? So I want to open my um, redstone door. I would want these levers to be activated. So I turn on. So I just simply do that. Just put, just put redstone torches behind whatever levers, whatever levers you want to be turned on. And sorry if my voice is annoying. I just can't help it. Okay, so what you do next is you build this configuration. Okay, um, okay, so you find any way possible to put redstone behind every lever that is that needs to be turned off. Like, okay, so then that's the, that's the combination lock itself. Look, this turns off. But, um, if you want the redstone, redstone to be turned on, um, when you solve the combination lock, then you simply put a knock gate like that. But if you want it to be turned off, you do that. Look, just don't make your combination lock too big or the reach or the redstone will just run out. You know, after 15 blocks, it runs out. So, that's a tutorial. So, let's say... Oh, and if you put levers next to each other like this, then you just simply run a redstone output out from that. So, I changed the combination lock for this one. For here, you flick these three levers. See? You just have simply have to put um, redstone torches behind what whatever um one you want. And just make sure to put... um redstone behind that because so that's your combination lock hope you have a good time with your new com lever combination locks and goodbye from derpypost1250